Drive through Main Street Pittston and you'll know that we're not far away now from one of the city's biggest parties of the year. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes catches up with the process of going green. You can always tell what time of the year it is here in Pittston based on the color of the street lines. And well, it looks like we're just around the corner from St. Pat's. For the last seven years, this city with a strong Italian heritage in the Wyoming Valley has been diversifying, revitalizing, and showing their Irish with their version of the St. Patrick's Parade. We have about 90 groups, four pipe and drum bands, lots of community groups, um, animal groups, different dancing groups, uh, just really nice variety mascots, really entertaining for kids and families. While the green center line along Main Street is tradition, the mayor's office wanted to keep the disruption of Monday morning traffic to a minimum, despite the leprechauns in the street. Nobody likes to be inconvenienced with traffic, but I hope that most people do understand that it is for a really good purpose. The street isn't the only thing getting a coat or two for the festivities. A building along Main Street that's undergoing work is also getting a celebratory facelift. Lawrence Meng got the call to do a mural along the parade route and made time to get it done. I was really busy with another job and, and I says, no, I can't let the kids down. So I got I love making smiles on people's faces. So that's what I do. While the painting of the shamrocks that are a staple of Main Street in March will have to wait until Tuesday, all eyes are looking toward the weekend and showing just a bit of green, hopefully with no white or rain. It's all about celebration and feeling the luck of the Irish for the day. Oh yes, absolutely. The parade is, yeah, this is a lot of beautiful energy. I love this. In Pittston, Kevin Hayes, Eyewitness News. A lot of fun there. And by the way, this year's parade starts at noon on Saturday.